Hey, you know, something that I always wish that we had that you see it on a lot of the newer motorhomes and, uh, and larger trailers is one of those uh, cool multicolored LED light strips that sits right below the awning there and just kind of gives you that great ambiance outside at night. But that just wasn't an option when we uh, got our older RV. So uh, let's see what we can do uh, to fix that. Now the key uh, part of this project is going to be where to run the, the wire from the outside to the inside. And I have a spot that I, um, that I know will work on the inside. What I'll probably do is uh, drill a small hole, like a little pilot hole, from the inside where I want the 12-volt the wiring to come out. So I'm thinking just about 6 inches on the inside of that window is going to work, but uh, uh, I'll show you from the inside where I plan on drilling out, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, and get that done. So this is a little uh, a little cable track I built uh, just to hide a lot of the, the wiring back here. And, and these wires run all the way from the front all the way back um, down, the, down the passenger side. So I think what I want to do is say about from here, this is where I want the wire to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and probably drill my pilot hole right about here. I'm going to mark that right there with my dry erase marker. And uh, that's what I'll try to uh, Drill a little pilot hole and see where it comes out on the outside. And I know if I can, uh, if I can get my wiring in to this point, then the rest uh, shouldn't be a problem because I have 12 volt power in a number of places here, and I can run a switch all the way over to my control panel. So I have a a longer bit here. Now the wall's about an inch and a half, I think, uh, thick. So this should be enough to to poke through the other side. See how it goes. All right, no stud, so that's good. I'm going through the outer wall right now. Okay, poke through. I'm going to go ahead and stick this through. Go outside and take a look. All right. Yeah, so you see this spot right here? So here's where the, the drill came out, which is perfect. It's exactly where I wanted it to be. Um, it's just a couple inches from from the top and uh, it's going to be nice and high like like I want it. So for the rest of this I'm going to pull the awning out and uh, we'll just work uh, with the awning out. Okay for the outer hole I need it to be uh, large enough so that it'll uh, at least um, fit the diameter of this uh, what do you call this cable gland whatever you want to call that and that's the inner part and it's gonna it's got this gasket and it's just gonna sit inside so for that I'm gonna use my stepped bit to to make this outer hole probably to about about there <laughs> ish so I usually just start smaller and then just start adding a little bit more uh, until I get just the right size <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I think the hard part's over. I mean, I think the whole, you know, putting it and making sure it's in the right spot uh, and, uh, you know, you don't have a wasted hole in the outside of your RV. I think that's the hardest part. So um, I'm happy that uh, we're past that point and the rest of it's basically uh, installing the LED strip and powering it up and running some wires. So I actually have this, uh, oh, it's tangled up, this, this LED strip that I picked up years and years ago. I, I had great intentions of installing something like this uh, many, many years ago, but just never got to it. I picked up a couple extra things like this extension, and I also have this, uh, this little silicone uh, diffuser. So this, the LED strip is actually going to go inside this, and there's kind of a translucent side to this, so you'll see the, the light illuminate from this side. And the nice thing about this little uh, cable gland that I happen to uh, pull out of my my bag of tricks is that it uh, it fits nicely on the end of this so the so it's gonna sit right like that and that's what it's gonna look like on the side of the RV so it's kind of kind of made for it I think so I measured my awning and it's hundred and eighty inches so what I'm gonna do is take off eight inches from either side because that's about where that hole is and uh, that gives me a length of about 164 inches. So that's going to be the length of my LED strip. There we go. And I got a little extra. All right, I think I got a plan. Uh, what I'm going to do instead of trying to fish this entire LED strip, you know, all 164 inches of it through this tiny little uh, diffuser. It does come with a string for this purpose, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So instead, I'm just going to cut a slit in the back. So the back, the part that's going to be mounted to the wall all the way down. So I'm going to cut a slit all the way down with this nifty little uh, blade that I put in my utility knife. I've got these on hand and you might be wondering why. It's because I used them to rip off uh, to rip off golf grips when you know I just uh, put on new grips on, on golf clubs. So I'm going to cut all the way down the middle of this of this diffuser, this silicone diffuser. Once I put the uh, LED strip in the middle, it does have a pretty uh, a pretty sticky adhesive on the back here. So once I put it in there, I can rip off the adhesive, and then uh, the adhesive will probably you know bring those those pieces together. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Now, I've been thinking about a way to mount these on the side. Since it is silicone, it's not gonna necessarily bond to just everything. So what I'm gonna do is actually use silicone to seal up around it, but in order to hold it in place uh, while the silicone's uh, hardening, is uh, first I'm gonna clean the surface really well with some rubbing alcohol, both on the on the diffuser here and on the side of the RV. And then, we'll see if this works. I'm gonna use just some uh, some hot glue and just kind of use it, you know, just a in a few spots along the, uh, along the track here. And hopefully that'll hold it in place uh, long enough uh, for me to get a, a bead of sealant around all the way, you know, the top and the bottom. Looks like this is going to work.
Well, you know, I don't think I paid more than, say, $25 for this uh, LED uh, strip. It's probably about five years ago. I never actually did anything with it. And it comes with this little uh, cheesy little remote that doesn't work. You really have to be right next to this little controller, which is this little piece right there. And I got this extension and plugged it in here. And the nice thing is with these LED light strips, there really isn't much to them. It's a basic like red, green, blue circuit, and it can be controlled by any standard RGB controller. So, you know, I'll probably upgrade to something that has Bluetooth or something cooler than, than this. But for now it works. Because when I turn off the power, turn it back on again, it remembers the last setting or whatever color or flashy mode, party mode uh, that you were in before. So that works. I'll also wire it into a 12 volt circuit. Right now I have it uh, plugged into an AC circuit and it's, you know, got a little, little DC transformer on it. So it's 12 volt and just plugs in right here. So what I'll probably do is just cut this wire and wire that into my 12 volt system which I can access right here on my control panel and I'll probably put in a, a, another button right here to turn on and off those lights so it'll be nice and accessible right from there. I think I got some green ones and maybe another blue one and it'll go right there. So I still need to tidy up this wiring and uh, do some sealing around the, uh, the light strip give it a nice professional finished look but uh, I think everything turned out pretty good so far and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know uh, what you think about this project. Uh, uh, share your thoughts in the comments. I'll probably throw some 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 cool shots when it gets really dark as we uh, as we exit here. So hope you enjoyed this project and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.